Ever dreamed of studying at Harvard? Well, you're not alone. Harvard University, the Ivy League gem, is a beacon of academic prestige and excellence. A place where dreams are nurtured, minds are enriched, and futures are crafted. But it's not just about the world-class education. It's about the unique experiences that only Harvard can offer. Imagine walking the same halls as illustrious alumni like Barack Obama, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg. Picture yourself learning from distinguished professors who are at the forefront of their fields, engaging in cutting-edge research and innovation. Think about the unparalleled resources from state-of-the-art facilities to an expansive library system, all at your fingertips. Harvard is more than just a university, it's a launch pad to a world of opportunities, a gateway to an extraordinary future. It's a place where you can make a difference, where you can leave your mark. So, you've set your sights on Harvard. Now let's explore how to turn that dream into a reality. Navigating the admissions process can seem daunting, but fear not. Let's break it down together. First things first, the journey to Harvard or Yale begins with a spark of interest. Maybe it's a dream nurtured over years, or perhaps it's a recent fascination. No matter when it starts, it's the first step towards something truly monumental. The timeline of the admissions process is a bit like a marathon, not a sprint. It begins well before you send in your application, often as early as your freshman or sophomore year of high school. This is the time for exploration, for understanding what these top institutions offer and what they expect from their students. Next comes the preparation phase. This is where thorough research plays a pivotal role. Explore the degree programs, the campus culture, the faculty. Understand what makes these universities unique and how you can contribute to their legacy. This phase should also involve preparing for standardized tests such as the SAT or ACT. Remember, the more you know, the better equipped you'll be. Then it's time to put pen to paper or rather fingers to keyboard. Crafting your application is a meticulous process requiring consistent effort over a prolonged period. It's not just about filling in the blanks, it's about telling your story in a way that resonates with the admissions committee. Finally, after the application is submitted comes the waiting period. This can be nerve-wracking, but remember, patience is a virtue. While you wait, continue to pursue your interests and maintain your academic performance. And then, the moment of truth arrives. The acceptance letters roll in. Whether it's a yes or a no, remember that this is not the end, but rather the beginning of the next chapter of your life. Remember, preparation is the key to success. From initial interest to acceptance, the admissions process is a journey of self-discovery and growth. So take a deep breath and step forward with confidence. Your journey to Harvard or Yale starts now. Harvard seeks students who excel academically. That's right, the very first thing Harvard looks at is your academic prowess. But what does academic excellence mean? It's not just about having straight A's on your report card. Yes, maintaining high grades is important, but Harvard wants to see more. They're looking for students who push their boundaries, who aren't afraid to take challenging courses, and who have a thirst for knowledge. Did you take that advanced placement or international baccalaureate course even though you knew it would be tough? That's what Harvard likes to see. They're after students who are intellectually curious, who love to learn, and who will bring that love of learning into their classrooms. But here's the thing. Academic excellence is just one piece of the puzzle. Harvard isn't just a place for bookworms. They're not looking for students who only study and do nothing else. They want well-rounded individuals, so while you're working hard to keep your grades up, don't forget to cultivate your other interests, too. Are you passionate about music, sports, or volunteering at your local community center? That's great. Show them. Show them that you're not just a great student, but a great person, too. Remember, Harvard gets thousands of applications from students with excellent grades. What will make you stand out is how you balance your academic life with your personal interests and passions. It's about how you're able to excel in your studies while also making a positive impact in your community. In essence, Harvard is looking for more than just students. They're looking for future leaders, innovators, and change makers. They're looking for people who will not only excel in their academic pursuits, but will also use their knowledge and skills to make the world a better place. So, strive for academic excellence, absolutely, but don't forget to show who you are beyond the grades. Show them the unique and wonderful individual that you are. After all, that's what makes you, you. And that's what Harvard is really interested in. Strive for academic excellence, but don't forget to show who you are beyond the grades. At Harvard, they're not just looking for students who are smart. They're looking for students who are engaged. Now you might be wondering, what does it mean to be engaged? 
Well, it's all about being active in your community and taking on roles that demonstrate your leadership abilities. You see, Harvard doesn't want to be just a place where you come to learn. It wants to be a place where you grow, where you challenge yourself, where you discover new passions and where you make a difference. That's why extracurricular activities are so important. They show that you're not just interested in studying, but you're also committed to using your knowledge and skills to contribute to your community in meaningful ways. Whether it's starting a club at school, volunteering at a local charity, or leading a sports team, these activities show that you're capable of taking initiative, of stepping up when the situation calls for it, and of making a positive impact on those around you. They show that you're not just a bystander in life, but an active participant, a leader who's not afraid to take charge and make things happen. But Harvard doesn't just value leadership for its own sake. They value it because it's a sign of a change maker, someone who's not just content with the status quo, but who's always looking for ways to improve, to innovate, to push the boundaries of what's possible. And that's exactly the kind of mindset that Harvard wants to foster in its students. So when you're thinking about your application, don't just focus on your grades. Think about the clubs you've joined, the teams you've led, the projects you've started. Think about the ways in which you've used your talents and passions to make a difference in your community. And then let Harvard know about it. Show them that you're not just smart, but that you're also dedicated, ambitious, and driven to create positive change. Show them that you're more than just a student, you're a leader and a change maker. Your application is your chance to tell your story. Friends, this is where it all comes together. It's the grand finale of your journey to Harvard or Yale. It's where your hard work, dedication, and personality shine through, all condensed into a few pages of text and supporting documents. Let's start with the personal essay. This isn't just another school assignment, so don't let it sound like one. It's a window into your thoughts, your beliefs, your dreams. It's where you share a piece of your world with the admissions officers, so be authentic, be real. Let your personality shine through because, trust me, they've read enough essays about winning the school science fair. What they haven't read is your unique story. Next up, letters of recommendation. These are the golden tickets, the glowing endorsements that tell Harvard or Yale that you're a great fit. But remember, it's not just about having your teachers say nice things about you. It's about them providing insight into your character, your work ethic, your potential. So choose your recommenders wisely. Pick those who know you well and can speak to your strengths with conviction. And then we have the interviews. Some find them nerve wracking, but here's a secret. They're actually an opportunity. It's your chance to bring your application to life, to put a voice to your essay, a face to your name. It's your chance to show that you're more than just grades and test scores. So be confident, be engaging, and most importantly, be yourself. Remember, the application process isn't a box-ticking exercise. It's a journey of self-discovery. It's about reflecting on your experiences, your triumphs, your challenges. It's about showcasing the real you, the one who's ready to take on Harvard or Yale and make a difference in the world. So as you sit down to fill out that application, remember this. Your application should be a reflection of who you are, not just what you've done. So, are you ready to take on the challenge of applying to Harvard? We've journeyed through an intriguing opportunity and understood the admissions process. We've delved into the importance of academic excellence and discovered the role of extracurricular engagement. We've also outlined the essential components of a strong application. Remember, these prestigious institutions value more than just grades. They're seeking well-rounded individuals who can contribute to their vibrant communities. The journey might seem daunting, but every step you take brings you closer to your dream. Harvard or Yale, these are not just universities, they are experiences that shape your future, open doors and offer unique opportunities to learn from the best. You have what it takes to make your Harvard dream come true. Now, it's time to take the first step. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights and advice. Until next time, aim high and work hard.